What's going on, people? First of all, I want to give a big shout out to Black American women because when the brothers stood up and refused to support Kamala Harris, big shout out to the sisters that got behind the brothers. Look, Black American men, you see what happens when you stand up and take the lead. When you take the lead, man, your woman will follow if she's righteous. Now, there are still some so-called Black American brothers, foundational Black Americans, and some foundational Black American women that's still riding the Democrat train. Hopefully, they would also come too, because this is an entirely important election. It's important, and it's, 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 Kamala can't get in the White House. You know, the Democrats cannot have control over the White House, Senate, or anything else, man, because you see the damage that has already been done. See, y'all have been struggling, and the only people don't listen to those celebrities that's trying to shame you and make you feel bad for who you choose to vote for. If you don't want to support Trump, just stay at home. But do not vote Democrat. Do not vote Kamala into office because you think you suffer now. Things would be a whole lot worse. Kamala has already told you that she's not going to do anything for Black people. And she's already said that immigrants, illegal immigrants, are the future of this nation. And again, like I mentioned, the only Black people or so-called Black people that's going to support Kamala, the LGBTQ, illegal immigrants, or these so-called celebrities that's going to receive special favors. So I, I give a shout out to the Black women and to Black men that stand in your ground and not allowing Barack Obama and the Democrat demons to shame you into voting for Kamala Harris. Now, I have a question for the Arabs, the Muslims. I see a lot of y'all on social media vouching for Kamala Harris. When you're asked a question who are you going to vote for, Kamala Harris or Trump? A lot of you Muslim men are saying Kamala. My question to you, since when did Muslim men follow the woman? You know in your own country, in your homeland, you're not going to see a woman president and you won't support a woman president to lord over you. But in America, a lot of y'all are doing things that you don't do at home. And a lot of y'all are doing things that's against your religion. So for you Arab men out there, for you Muslims, and even the Muslim women that get in America and you start acting in ways that you would not act if you were in your homeland because you know the punishment that will come upon you. But a lot of y'all come here to America and you become brand new. You change. See, so since when did Muslim men prefer a woman, especially someone like Kamala Harris, to lord over you, to become president? A lot of y'all are voting for Kamala Harris because you think the, that Trump is going to deport your friends and your family and the loved ones, the ones that's not supposed to be here. Let me get this straight. Trumpers don't have a problem with immigrants that come through the door. If you come in here through the right way, there's no problem with that. You don't get no argument out of no one. But when the borders are wide open and they're flocking over the border and we don't know who's coming in here, 
and they're creating havoc here in America, and you have American citizens that end up deceased or robbed, burglarized, tortured, and then you expect us to support you crossing the borders illegally. So just my question for Muslim men, and I didn't mean to stay on this too long, but how are you supporting Kamala Harris and you being a Muslim and you don't do that in your homeland? Because if you were in your homeland and a woman, first of all, a woman wouldn't be running for president if it was in your homeland. But you come here to America and to disrupt the system here, you guys support Kamala Harris and the Democrats knowing what they stand for. See, do they stand for abortions where you come from? Is that Islam? Is that the religion of peace? Is to abort unborn children? Does your religion support transgender and pushing transgendering children? Does your religion support that? Does your religion support the LGBTQ community? So how do you come here to America and support Kamala and the Democrat Party knowing that's what the Democrats stand for? Answer that question. I want the Muslims to respond. Those that's from the Middle East, those that are immigrants here, that know in your homeland this would not fly, but you come here and you support evil and you still call yourself a Muslim? Make sense of that. 